Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. We're going to give you a quick update on the sweet potatoes. We're going to plow the sweet potatoes. We're going to plant some pumpkins. And I think that's it. So I'll show you the plow first since I'm right here at the truck. This is an old mule pull behind plow that you hook to, like uh, my granddad hooked to it behind a mule to, to plow with. It's got a broken wing there. I didn't notice that when I put it in the truck, but oh well, it'll do well enough for what we're doing today. And a pair of old handles that my grandfather put in it. This is what we always use to plow up potatoes and sweet potatoes. And because of my goofy row setup, we're gonna have to use them to plow the potatoes. So yesterday I came down and put my tiller on and tilled up these areas where there was no sweet potatoes living, they died. But you can see the ones there that are still alive. So we're at one month now since we planted these things. And uh, for the most part, they're doing pretty well. They're not growing as, like as, a, as much as I'd like for them to. But you can see like this one right here. It is there's this, this plant here. But then this one, you know, it's got vines that are, I don't know, about two feet out. So I'm going to turn, turn these vines down the rows. And what we'll do, so what I'm going to do, these rows aren't wide enough to plow them with the regular tractor or it's called a farm all super row that we have as a garden tractor so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down with one wheel here one wheel on the outside and do it on the other side and i'm gonna come and plow what's called the middles in between the rows it's called the middles and we'll plow up all that grass and throw dirt up on my beds these sweet potatoes sweet potatoes you want as much dirt as possible for them to grow in and have good good mounds of dirt there for the actual potatoes once they start putting on potatoes so you can see here a lot of these are starting to put on some good vines so i'm gonna turn that vine here on this one you can see that vine turn the vine so i don't run over it with a plow and then we will plow this up so here is where these down through here either died or we ran out of slips so i'm going to plant pumpkins down there so i took my uh, tiller yesterday and just plowed all this under and i'll put i don't know maybe as many pumpkins as i can plant down through there so all right let me take the tiller off the tractor and we'll get this show on the road thanks for watching click like and subscribe so here i am battling the middle buster when we were kids we would do this but it's been quite a few years since I've done a whole lot of this, and I couldn't remember, you know, exactly how to turn it, how to where to which what direction to lean it to get it to go where I want it to go, and how to set the chain to get the depth I wanted to get. And my cousin was kind enough to come. That's his Boykin Spaniel there. My cousin Mike was kind enough to come and drive the tractor for me, and he was having to adjust the drawbar height to get the plow to go in the ground where we wanted it to. So we were kind of struggling a little bit here to start with. But by the time we finished, we really had it dialed in pretty well. So there was the end of the row. So what Granddaddy always did was just lay it down and make the make the circle with the tractor, and the tractor will uh, pull that plow. The plow will follow the tractor and get back to the row where you want to start, and put it back in there and go again. So the like I say, we, I was kind of struggling here. I must say I didn't do a very good job, and uh, here my. I had to back up, and, and or Mike had to back up. I had to back up because we had to get the thing in the ground better. I told him we were starting. It was kind of an inside joke with us. Our grandfather would always kind of yell at us, well, hey, hey, you're not doing this right, and tell us how to do it. And I told him if he didn't drive the tractor right, I was going to yell at him like Granddaddy used to yell at us. We all loved my granddad. Everybody who knew him did. He was a very hard worker, but he was also uh, so good with kids and loved to play with them. But Anyway, he taught us how to do all this, and Mike and I both said to, our, to each other and to ourselves, we should have paid closer attention to Granddaddy on all this stuff, and we could have remembered how to do this stuff better. We wish we had him back, of course, like everybody does, and uh, we wish we'd have taken better notes of how to do all the things he showed us to do. But anyway, this is one of his plows, so kind of a uh, kind of honor to him here that we use his plow to uh, continue to do the things he taught us to do, and uh, so proud that we can do the things he taught us to do on the land that he bought and he was the first in his family to ever own any land. The rest of his family had been sharecroppers 
before that. So he was very proud of the fact he was the first one to ever own any land, and we're still uh, working the land today, and uh, obviously not making a living on it, but still trying to make it uh, yield and, and feed us and uh, feed our families and uh, provide entertainment and uh, take care of people on this land that he he bought. So anyway, a little testament to my grandfather there. You see me struggling again with the plow, but we eventually got it, and uh, as I'll say in a minute, it didn't look the best in the world, but it was functional. So anyway, I'll put some music on for this last bit. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, well, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's functional. So you can see there, I hope you can see, that we got the middles plowed out and pulled up all this dirt around my sweet potato plants. So they have, uh, they'll have a good bed to make sweet potatoes in. So we're giving them every opportunity we can. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and uh, we will... Uh, hope they make it at this point i think they're gonna do all right i think this will help a lot and like i say it's not pretty but not much i do is it's functional though i uh, came out here on the ends and planted some pumpkins so we'll check those next week and see that they come up most likely they will pumpkins are pretty good about coming up it's after the fact to taking care of them it's hard in alabama pumpkins aren't the easiest thing to grow in alabama so we'll tend to them and hope for the best here Can you see the fertilizer? I went down beside all the rows and put fertilizer beside and in between the actual plants. And I told the fertilizer, don't fertilize the grass, only fertilize the sweet potatoes. Hopefully the fertilizer listened. 